to Early Queen Kids Online Family Experience. I'm Ms. Rachel, and I'm so glad you're here today. I just finished up having a little visit with my friend. She brought the cookies, I brought the milk, and we had a nice chat together. <gasps> oh no! Oh, my friend didn't drink all of her milk. Well, that's too bad. What should I do with it? I don't want to just pour it down the drain. That'd be a waste, but I'm not going to see her again for a while, so I don't think I can just save it and put it in the fridge. Hmm. Wait, no, yes, I know. Just give me one minute. I can give this leftover milk right here a little bit of a redo, a chance to be part of something really neat, like a science experiment. I'm gonna pour this milk onto this plate here. Now I'm gonna draw some food coloring and drop a few drops into the milk. Now, take a Q-tip or a cotton ball and put some dish soap on it. And now you take it and put it in the middle of the milk to see what happens. Look at how the food coloring moved, friends, and it's making such a cool design. It's swirling, twirling. Okay, let's try moving this a little bit throughout the food coloring and see what kind of design I can come up with. Isn't that neat to see what happens when you run this Q-tip with dish soap on it? It's beautiful. Wow, what a work of art. But why just watch this if you can do this? If you're at home, see if a grown-up can help you grab some milk, food coloring, soap, and a Q-tip or a cotton ball. Rewind this video and follow the steps I did. Now, if you're with us on site today in Lake Point Kids, then we're going to press pause and try this experiment right now. You know, taking this glass of leftover milk and giving it a second chance instead of pouring it down the drain kind of reminds me of our theme this month. We all need second chances sometimes, don't we? We all need a chance to try again, or start over, or have a new opportunity. And what can help us get that? Well, forgiveness. Forgiveness is deciding someone who wronged you doesn't have to pay. Out to three, and then we'll say it together. One, two, three. Forgiveness is deciding someone who wronged you doesn't have to pay. We have all made mistakes, broken trust, done wrong things, hurt people either on purpose or accidentally. We don't want to be tied to those wrong things forever, do we? No, we want the chance for a do-over, to try again, to make things right. We want forgiveness, and so do other people. Check out what it says in the Bible. Put up with one another. Forgive one another if you are holding something against someone. Forgive just as the Lord forgave you. Colossians 3, 13, Nerve. Now, if you're at home, press pause and try saying the verse while making yourself very small and then popping up like a bubble, doing star jumps, and finally some karate kicks. If you're at Lake Point with us today, then turn your attention to the stage. So forgiveness, what is it again? Well, forgiveness is deciding someone who wronged you doesn't have to pay. And our bottom line or our focus point of today is, Forgive others because God forgives you. Let's say it together. One, two, three. Forgive others because God forgives you. And here to teach us more about that in a most unique and memorable way are the guys from the So Show. Hey, first you wet your hands to wash your hands. There you go. There you go like that. Mm -hmm. And then you put soap on your hands. Which one's soap? Are these both soap? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I'll just. I guess so. Why would. There you go. This is. This is lotion! Who put. Who puts lotion. If that's the soap and this is. Lo who puts lotion next to the soap in the same bottle without labeling? Okay. I can't get a grip. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hello, 
everyone, I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this is the So and So Show. And aren't you lucky because we've figured out something incredible. Yes, yes, we all need forgiveness, right? Yep. Yes, M mistakes are made and people have to let each other off the hook. Which is why here at the So and So Show, we're introducing the brand new so and so, so show brand, brand forgiveness, forgiveness punch, punch card. card. We're going to be testing it out over the course of this episode. Yeah. Every time one of us needs forgiveness for something, we get a punch on our card. So, for instance, let's say John ate a sandwich I left in the fridge that I was saving for my lunch, which happened. Guilty as charged. All I have to do is get oh. his card, pull out my handy dandy hole punch, and <gasps> the weight's gone. Just like that, all is forgiven. Look at that. Yeah, now you may be asking yourself, what happens when you fill up the card? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't know. No, I mean, we're never gonna fill up these cards, right? It feels really unlikely. There's room for what? Like seven punches yeah, here. Yeah, seven punches. And if we do fill up these cards, we probably deserve whatever's coming to us, right? Right. <laughs> anyway, we just wanted to make sure you were aware that that was going on today. Uh, Can't wait to test out this idea that I came up with. Whoa, 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 whoa. This wasn't your idea. I know. I just wanted to do something that would require forgiveness uh, so that we could be even. Ah, what a pal. Uh, here we go. Here we All go. right, here we go. <laughs> Forgiven. Ooh. Forgiven. <laughs> there you go. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to play a little game called Tortilla Slap. All right, here's how we play the game. We're gonna fill our mouths with water, and then we'll play rock, paper, scissors. And when someone loses, the other person gets to slap them with a tortilla. The goal is to get the other person to laugh so hard that they spew water. You sound good? Yep, yeah, sounds good to me. Let's. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right, you know I'm what? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go All ahead. Right, that was not cool of me. <laughs> okay. Game. Okay. All right, go. let's fill her up. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> what? No, I get to punch it. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I caught you off guard the first time, all right? But don't. let's not do that again. Let's play the game right. All right, here we go. I'm going to fill her up. That's too hard. That is too hard. You're gonna, you're gonna punch. <laughs> Play nice. Sorry, sorry. Oh no. I look like you're going I slow. I, I think I broke. Mm hmm. That's not fair! You can't distract me like that! <laughs> that sound game is No, no, no! Give me your card. <laughs> Distracting me. It's not called distract. Yeah, it is. Slap. Alright. It's Ow. just playing. What in the world was that? It's the game. Hey, what? Not only did you just defy physics, you are not allowed to swallow your water. Uh, hey, no, you, you can't you, block yourself with your hand. That's what you got. Don't you dare. No, 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 no,
we're talking about the parable of the unmerciful servant. In Matthew chapter, oh, we're talking about the unmerciful servant. Well, I've got a point to make. Interrupting, no, interrupting. You're interrupting, interrupting my interruption. No, 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 no. You, you interrupted Kevin. I was talking about Kevin. Yes. We, 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 we didn't talk, talk all that time. time. Give you me know my what? Time. This is when we talk. The story before the story. Today we're in Matthew, the first book in the New Testament. But before Matthew, in the very beginning, out of a deep, deep love, God made an amazing world. But when people turned away from God, the world was broken. God made a plan to draw people back into relationship. So at the right time, God sent a tiny baby to be born in the small town of Bethlehem, God's very own son, Jesus. When Jesus grew up, he began to travel from town to town, teaching and healing. Often, when Jesus taught, he spoke in parables or stories, using everyday things to help people understand spiritual truths. Which is where our story starts. Take it away, Brian. Hey everyone, I'm Brian. One day, Peter, one of Jesus' closest friends and followers, came up to him with a big question. Lord, how many times should I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Now, Peter may have been giving himself a pat on the back here. Hey, look at what an awesome person I am, forgiving more than once. <laughs> but Jesus wasn't impressed with that. I tell you, not seven times, but 77 times. Jesus knew that Peter and his other friends weren't really getting the point. So, Jesus used a story to make it clear. The kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to collect all the money his servants owed him. Who owes the most money to the royal treasury? That would be Amos. How much does he owe? 10,000 bags of gold. 10,000 bags of gold? 10,000 bags of gold. Bring him to me this instant. The servant who owed 10,000 bags of gold was immediately brought before the king. You owe me 10,000 bags of gold. Pay up. I don't have it. You don't have it. I don't have it. Guards, sell this man and his whole family to work until they can pay back every cent. No, please, please, just give me a little time. I'll pay back everything. Okay, now come on, let's be real. There is no way that the servant would be able to pay off 10,000 bags of gold, even if he worked his whole life. The servant knew it, the king knew it, and he felt sorry for the man. All right, I forgive you. You forgive me? I forgive you. You don't have to pay a cent. <sighs> The servant was so amazed and overjoyed that he left the palace leaping and dancing. Minutes ago, it seemed he would never be free. Now, he didn't know a single penny. He could go anywhere, do anything. Woohoo! Life is good. But even as this man celebrated, he saw another of the king's servants, a man who owed him 100 silver coins. The first servant stopped in his tracks. Hey, you owe me 100 silver coins. Uh, yes, I, I, I do. I, I don't quite have it all. Uh, huh? The first servant grabbed the second man by the throat and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me. Give me time. I'll pay back everything. Now, the first servant just had a debt of 10,000 bags of gold wiped out completely. He could definitely overlook a few silver coins, right? Well, you'd think. Instead, the first servant had the second one thrown in prison until he could repay the whole debt. Some of the king's other servants saw what happened, and boy, were they steamed about it. They went immediately to the king and told him the whole story. Bring him to me. Oh, um, hey, your majesty. You evil servant. Ooh, a little harsh. I forgave all that you owed me because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on the other servant just as I had mercy on you? Well, 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 um, um, 
you know, that, that, that's a great question. The king was so angry that he had the servant thrown in jail, sentenced to stay there until he paid back every penny. Jesus finished his story. This is how my Father in heaven will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or your sister from your heart. Peter and the others were silent as the truth of Jesus' words sunk in. Forgiveness isn't something you can put limits on. God has forgiven each of us more than we will ever know. So we can pass on that same forgiveness to those who wrong us too. The end. Makes me feel really dumb about how much we cared about our forgiveness punch cards. How's yours looking? Um, same. Oh, well, consider it wiped clean, buddy. I forgive you. And I forgive you, pal. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Reveal the question. Oh, great. Yeah, today's question is, what keeps you from forgiving? Mm. Mm. Sometimes it's hard for me to forgive when I feel like someone has gotten away with something they shouldn't have. Yeah. Well, it's hard for me to forgive when someone does something to hurt my feelings. I, I can't always put my personal feelings aside and forgive them. Yeah, but just remember, God has forgiven people for everything under the sun. Oh, yeah. And you can find it in your heart to forgive people, too. I mean, God can help you with that. Yeah, just like we forgave each other. Yep. Hey, do you want to fully play the tortilla game that we were playing earlier? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Okay. Until next time, I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this was a so and so show. Oh. Sometimes we can be a little bit like that first servant. It's easy to think of ourselves as a pretty good person. I mean, no one here has robbed a bank or stolen a jet plane, right? Well, we've all done wrong things. And those bad, wrong things, they hurt others. And even worse, they break our relationship with God. But God can forgive us of everything. And because of Jesus, God wipes away the weight of all the wrong things we've ever done in the moment we ask Him. And because we've been forgiven so much, we can forgive others. So, if someone comes in front of you uh, in line for the slide, or loses your marker, or they don't share their Lego, you can forgive them. Now, this is really important. Look at me. Forgiving someone doesn't mean that what they did was okay. Forgiving does not mean you let someone keep hurting you. You might need to talk to a grown-up for some help depending on what the situation is. And there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, sometimes you need to do that because it's important that you are kept safe and treated properly. But even in those cases, work towards forgiving them because forgiveness just isn't for them, it's for you too. It can free you from being bitter and angry. With God's help, we can forgive anyone. Just like God forgives us, we can forgive others. with their small group time so long as your parent listen to today's instructions. First, answer John and Brandon's question, what keeps you from forgiving? Will what you learn today help you forgive others more easily? Why or why not? Now press pause, complete the activity, and then come back for the second set of instructions. Next, act out a story today. If you don't have enough people to help you do so, you can grab your stuffed friends or action figures and act it out with them. Rewatch the story part if you need a refresher on some of the details. Oh, and really don't strangle anyone for 100 silver coins. Parents have the time to either scan the QR code on the screen or head over to the Coin app to fill their online connection card. Signing our guestbook lets us know who is watching and helps us stay connected to you. It also allows you to sign up for our latest Coin initiatives and opportunities. So kids, while your parents are busy doing that, why don't you find someone to play rock, paper, scissors with?
and you can go back and watch your favorite Lake Point kids on the family experiences on their YouTube channel or on our Lake Point app in the family resources section. Thanks for tuning in today, friends. I'll see you again next week, same time, same place. Remember, forgive others because God forgives you.